Makyam, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakapadash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach the real well, and Shalom to the sincere Akyam to praise truth and sincerity. Shalom. Yeah, so in this video, I want to um, you know, go into basically the consumption of alcohol and you know what the scriptures say about it and you know what my own experience is concerning you know drinking too much or too often and compared to drinking basically in season with moderation you know because the scriptures do say in Sirach chapter 31 and uh, verse 28 wine measure measurably drunk and in season bringing the gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind so this is going into moderation man. you know drinking alcohol whether it's wine, beer, strong liquor, drinking it in moderation. And what I noticed myself is that if I just drink it, you know, once in a while, once every two weeks, once every four weeks, or, you know, just one or two glasses every week, that's when I myself experience the most the most joy uh, with the drinking without having any side effects concerning headaches feeling agitated um, feeling tired feeling weak and you know the scriptures basically back this up man how drinking alcohol uh, in season you know moderately brings a man the most joy and I've also done some uh, uh, some research on this in the past. Um, what happens when you consume alcohol, and what kind of effect it has on your body and the hormones, etc. Man, because what you actually get when you drink alcohol is you get a you, you get a dopamine boost, right? You know, your body makes that uh, dopamine, which is gonna you know bring you uh, you know a feeling of, of feeling excited, happy joy basically but if you drink so much you know your body gets such a high amount of, um, of that dopamine that once it don't get the alcohol no more that's why people become drunk drunkers man because they constantly chase that good feeling that the alcohol tries to give them <clears throat> and your body becomes dependent upon it like a drug man and once you get off that high, you basically your body brings you low, man. So you feel basically fucked up and messed up, man. You know? And then you're gonna chase after that alcohol. You see? So that uh that's why it says in verse 29, but when drunken with excess, make it bitterness of the mind, uh, with brawling and quarreling. Yeah, so if you drink a lot. You know, if you drink a lot, whether it's, you know, you drink one day so much that you don't remember the next day, <clears throat> then you're dr actually drinking in excess, man, because that's not a moderation, man. Then you're not being moderate with your, with your drink, man. You know, you're not being circumspect no more. You're not basically being sober no more. You know, being aware of your surroundings neither. You see? And also, what I know to myself, when I drank a lot, or when, they, when at times I drank a lot, I really felt very agitated, short-tempered, tired, weak. Why? Because the alcohol does have an effect upon the body, man. It does have an impact upon, you know, your physiological well-being. You know, so where the scripture says that it being drunken in moderation, is where it comes the most benefits of it towards a person, you know, being uh, being glad and the health benefits that it might have of, you know, uh, uh, slightly thinning the blood here and there. If you drink too much, it, it, it is going to have side effects, man. It's the same as drinking water. Water is healthy, you know, but if you drink six liters in one hour, you're going to die, man. You're going to die, man, because your body has too much you know, the cells get too much water, you know? 
so you die. So, yeah, wealth, uh, water is healthy. I won't say wealthy. Water is healthy. Wealthy, wealthy. Water healthy. You know, water is healthy. But hey, there's a there's a limit to it, man. Same with the alcohol. There's a certain amount, you know, that a, that a man can drink. And hey, people, you know, sometimes try to, you know, search for their limit. You know, one bottle, two bottles, three bottles. You know, that's not good, man. You know, when you feel that you're feeling, when you're feeling like, hey, I, I feel in the zone, I'm happy, I'm, I'm smiling, I can have a good time, I'm vibing on the beat. Hey, for me, that's the moment that I decide it is enough. I can feel when it's enough. You know, there was, there was this one time when this new brother came in, you know, and, and, and he was introduced to the liquor, and you know, and at first he didn't like it, but, you know, I, I gave him a couple of things here and there to basically easily, you know, Get into drinking a little bit of wine, a little bit of beer, you know, the sweet, the sweet stuff, you know, and then he <laughs> took it upon himself to take it so far that he was trying to look for his limits, man. One bottle, two bottle, three bottles, and try it, and, and still trying to, you know, maintain a, 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 a normal a, a being, basically. And my brothers oftentimes told him, like, hey, it's too much, it's too much. And, you know, he came to the point of realization himself that, indeed, there was a certain limit because he saw that there's not really that benefit to it, man, you know, drinking so much. You know, so, hey, props to him for finding his limit and, you know, being able to, you know, be, be, be circumspect, be able to do everything, you know, that needs to be done, you know, while still maintaining, you know, the pleasure of drinking the, the liquor, man. You know, so everybody has to find his or her balance within that. Some brothers don't even like to drink, man. There's one brother in our camp, he only drinks in the Pesach. Why? Because then, you know, we have to drink, man. On the Pesach, we have to drink. But other than that, he don't drink, man. He don't drink other than on the Pesach, you know. And we ain't going to force him to drink neither because, like the scripture also says, not everybody has pleasure in the same thing. <coughs> Sirach 31 and verse 30 Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool So he offends It diminishes strength and make it wounds Yeah, because you're gonna start doing stupid shit, man You know, you're not even there no more You know, like the brother Yeshua also said You know, demons have, uh, have easier times Jump upon you And basically take, take hold on you and, and, and on, on your vessel, man you know, you're gonna do stupid things, man. You're gonna, you're gonna rage. You know, certain thoughts come in your mind. You know, certain boundaries, you know, uh, uh, evaporate. You see? And then you'll be like, yeah, man. You know, you say you, you're gonna say things, you know, that you don't even mean like that, but you offend another brother by saying these things because the boundaries disappeared. You know, you also think you're, 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 you're gonna be strong as hell when you drink. Meanwhile, you become weak as hell, which 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 it says it here. I mean, it it diminishes strength, man. When you drink a cell, it diminishes strength, and then a day later on, you feel weak as hell too. You know, you get that dopamine hit, and then the dopamine gets uh, basically uh, drops us, uh, you know, drops uh, to, to the bare minimum, man. And then you're gonna feel fucked up and depressed, and then you're gonna you know jump on the liquor again. Because, you know, so-called makes you feel good, right? But then, then it's just a continual loop, man. You know? Even the scripture says that uh, wine is a mocker, man. You know, it's going to do things with you. And, you know, if, if you're not aware of that, or if you were aware of that, but you let it happen unto you, they ain't not wise, man. You know these things happen. The scriptures talk about it. You do these things still? Hey, then basically you're not wise. Because it's a mocker, man. It's gonna 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 fool your 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 mind and your brain, man. You know. So that's basically what I wanted to bring up, man. That it has an effect upon your body, and if you drink it in season, you know, uh, moderately, it's just like getting that dopamine uh, spike from you know doing something that that gives you a thrill, man. But if you drink it so much, your body becomes uh, 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 dependent upon it. Why? Because it gets that continual supply of, of that artificial dopamine. And that artificial dopamine, when you take it away, 
you know, it's going to drop your bodily dopamine <clears throat> to, a, uh, to a bare minimum, and then you're going to get dependent upon it, man. You know, trying to drink away your sorrows, you know, which is not good, man. But that's why it should be drunk moderately, man. So, hey, I hope and pray that this video was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, spread his truth and sincerity. Shalom.